you know and like i said i'm not i don't want to seem ungrateful but it's just scary you know i'm just being real and i'm just saying i'm just being human and real i you know i and i desperately need a kidney but you know and i always pray that god send me that golden kidney you know that that kidney that that's gonna be a perfect match and that it won't reject you know i pray to god for that you know but I Good afternoon, my honeys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, y'all. It's Mama Bree, and I'm on my way home from work, y'all. It has been a day, a day it has been. Um, I was talking to Prissy P. You ever get to have days where you just thankful? Where you just plain old thankful? Just thankful. You know, you can talk to people, you can see people, just see things, listen to the news, and just hear things. And you just want to throw your hands up in the air and say, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. 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 And I was just reminiscing over, the, over my life, which I do a lot of. I be reminiscing over my life and where God has brought me from. And I begin to just thank him. Just, Lord, I thank you. Well, anyway, I was talking to Prissy, and I was talking her to her about my time that I lived in Miami, Florida, when they were little. And, baby, when I tell you it was a struggle in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you I was a struggling single mom. I'm telling you I, I couldn't get my feet up off the ground, y'all. I'm talking about the struggle real, Miami. You ain't got no money, you can hang it up. Even if you know about resources, those resources just keep you to need them again. That's all. They just hope. I had a call to come through. But yeah, those resources, like I said, they just tie you over just, just to, to see you again. So, honey, I'm telling you, Mama Bree have seen some trying times some trying times and when I made the decision to move to North Carolina it was one of the best decisions of my life um, there was so much for as far as job opportunities and I'm a firm believer that if you try hard enough you'll get it you know just like they say you keep on fishing you gonna get a bite now something gonna bite now you know so you keep on trying something you're gonna get something and I was so glad that I moved to North Carolina because um, I never really want to raise my kids up in a city. So I knew I was going to leave Miami when they got older. But I moved when they were like in elementary school. But you know, like I said, I just was just reminiscing over just whew, having hard times, not ha hardly having no food to eat, didn't know where the next meal was coming from, trying to scrape up money to pay my little rent. I mean, it was hard. I mean, hard as a single parent, you know, it, it ain't no joke. So my hat is off to all single parents that's, that's struggling to make it with their children and they're doing it, you know, and, and, and it is possible. You could do it. It's not easy, but it's definitely doable. But all I can say is just keep God first. And I, like I said, I just give them all the praise, all the praise. I just can't praise God enough. And, you know, some days it just hits me harder than others, especially when I look around over my life. You know, and they said, I think things over. And all of my good days outweigh my bad days. So I just won't complain. So I'm just on a thankful, thankful um, high right now. Just, and I praise God for had giving me days like this. It just reminds me and humbles me just because I'm so thankful. I'm thankful, you know, where people just take things for granted. People mad about the little, tr the most trivial things. And it's so many people going through so much stuff out here. There's nothing I want to share with y'all real quick. And, um, and this is, and hopefully this will help somebody. As you all know, I am on dialysis and, um, I go every year for my annual checkups and you all, you all watch the vlogs, you all have 
um, joined and came along with us on some of our um, some of my appointments. Well, when I went to go to my last appointment, I was um, asked about accepting a kidney from a person with hepatitis C. So apparently, they're seeing a younger generation with um, positive hepatitis C, and now they have a cure for hepatitis C. And so what they're saying is that I could possibly get a kidney quicker and um, they can treat me for the hepatitis C. I won't have the hepatitis C no more, but hey, I'll have a kidney. So they told me to think about it and the surgeon told me that he would definitely do it if it was him. So he said, talk to your nephrologist about it when you go to your next appointment. And that's what I did. I had an appointment today and I mentioned it to my nephrologist and as soon as I mentioned it he said I would do it I would definitely do it if I were you and so he began to explain more about it to me and and then I of course began to explain to him my concerns about doing it and this is my deal I do understand that doctors go to school to learn how to care for people with kidney problems diseases failure but no one can understand this disease better than a person that's dealing with the disease. And I am tired on a daily basis. I am, I, and the tired that I experience is, it, I really can't explain it. It's just that I don't ever feel 100% good. I push myself 100% of the time. And when you all see me, I'm, I mean, all, everything about me is pushed, is forced, because I'm just that tired. And I, I know how I am now. I'll do, I want a kidney so bad, because I'm so tired. But I try, I don't complain about my current situation. I don't complain about it. You know, I just give praise and thanks to God, because it could be worse. But I'm just keeping it real with you all for a moment. It's a tiring disease, and it, it, it's, you're sick. You don't know when you're going to be sick. It's, it's just unpredictable. So I began to just pray about this um, this thing that they're doing now with these patients that has hepatitis C, blah, blah, blah. So I began to just pray about it to God and, you know, because I'm scared. I ain't going to even lie. I am horrified because my thoughts are, I don't want to have anything entered, entering my body that I didn't have. I don't want that I don't care if you do have a cure for it it's scary you know and but then I don't want to tell them that because I don't want them to think that oh well she don't want no kidney so we're gonna bump her down to the bottom of the barrel I don't know I know my current state I don't know what's gonna happen after the fact that's my fear so I say all that to say this When you are going through whatever you're going through in life, there's someone out here that's doing worse than you. And everything that you're going through, it shall pass. It's going to be okay. And there are people that's got so much on their mind, on their plate, like me right now. My plate is full. And it's a whole lot to think about. Sometimes it gets, makes me nauseous because I'm like, Lord, I'm trying to figure the. I'm just trying to figure it out, and I can't figure it out. So I just trust God. I just trust God. So I don't know if anyone out there dealing with kidney disease or the same situation, maybe, you know, but, you know, give me your thoughts in the comments, you know. And like I said, I'm not. I don't want to seem ungrateful, but it's just scary, you know. I'm just being real, and I'm just. A, I'm just being human and real. I, you know, I and I desperately need a kidney. But you know, and I always pray that God send me that golden kidney. You know that that kidney that that's gonna be a perfect match and that it won't reject. You know, I pray to God for that. You know, but I, I'm just I'm scared. I'm just scared. So anyway, I have to sign a consent form to receive the kidney. And um, and the other thing they told me that two people recently signed the consent form and they got a kidney within a month so it's kind of like wow you know and they, they give you the time frame you will have to be on medication for the hepatitis and like they said you may not even get the hepatitis it's only the person the people that donate the kidneys they were diagnosed with hepatitis c but it's not guaranteed that i'm gonna get it but they have to 
let make me aware because it's a possibility I can um, can um, get it and they'll just let me know that they will the, the, the treatment will a hundred percent cure it so it's kind of like you won't have hepatitis C but you'll have a good working kidney so yeah I don't know y'all I don't know it's it's hard you know but even with all of that I'm gonna just keep giving God the glory and keep just keep on glorifying God and you know and just that's all I can do and I, like I said I just got to keep pushing myself you know did you know at the end of the day if you don't have your health and your strength money materialistic stuff it don't mean nothing it don't mean nothing at the end of the day it doesn't because you can't even enjoy that stuff so your health you know your health means everything you know and I do thank and praise God that I'm able to push myself um, to, to go to work Monday through Thursday and um, just just to enjoy a complete day you know and I try to do it with laughter and, and love in my heart you know period I just do and, I, and that's the choice that I made for myself because it's already bad enough when you're dealing with an illness but then walk around being grumpy and mad that's just too much so but yeah y'all so that's what Mama Bria is dealing with now and um, I'm still thankful though in the midst of all of that I'm still thankful I'm thankful and I'm, I'm praying asking God to just lead me in the right direction because I know if he lead me he gonna take care of me I know if he lead me he is going to take care of me in Jesus name um, but of course it's still like I said a hard, a hard decision to make it's not an easy one but I thank God for you all and um, I just you know just keep on praying for one another and let me know how y'all doing with y'all um, with y'all prayer chain you remember we talked about that yesterday y'all mothers creating y'all prayer chain with other mothers and praying for our children gotta be a that's a daily reminder come on lift our children up in prayer so y'all let me know how y'all doing with that and um just keep on praying even if you if you even if you don't create a prayer chain just get grab somebody and just pray with them just pray just keep on praying mama Bree can't stress that enough 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 just pray and i don't know why god is just dealing with me with prayer you know that's how god spent a little time with us in prayer that's how we get to, to hear from god you know and we need to hear from god we need to hear from god all right, y'all honeys, y'all have a, a wonderful rest of the day, and I love you all, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.